I didn't kill you. The monsters did. What things has your GM said that makes you want to bonk them in the nose? <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is get good. You know, this is, sometimes, like, you know, fighting isn't the only option. No. It ne- like, it seldom is. Yeah. So, get good. Get creative. If you come across a po- uh, an impossible task, get good. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's my advice to you. I'm sorry, but that's all I can really say to you. But, like, that's, uh, I, I think I, we've been pretty lucky. Across the board, I yeah. can't think of I can't think of a time where a DM said something to me, and I'm going like, please, no, you know what I mean. I've I've never had that situation. I think I've been maybe maybe I've done that to other people. Oh, <laughs> most certainly. Oh, guys, before we get into this, do you want to hear a funny story? So, me and Meg went to a game store. Well, last it was the other it was the other day. It was Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, so we went Saturday. to a game. Yeah, so we'll go to the game store. Uh, I just wanted to have a wee nosy about. I wasn't... All three of us went. Yeah, Ozzy as well. And um, we were just having a wee nosy about just to, you know, I, I just wanted to see what they had and whatnot because I haven't been in in a while. And Megan was apprehensive because she's like, oh, what if someone like recognizes recognizes us? <laughs> and that's Megan's idea of hell, oh, by the way. Be doing one uh, of that. Because, it, well, it's only happened once before. I've only been recognized once ever. So I'm very happy with that. That's good track record. I don't like going in and I don't like giving my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so we're going in. I was looking at the RPG books just to see what they had. I was looking at some of the Dark Heresy stuff and they had some of the, you know, that new Lord of the Rings game. Anyway, anyway, so I was looking at it and a guy comes over to us and he starts talking to us and he's saying about, oh, he's looking for players to... No. Like, no, he did. No. Okay. He didn't say that. Well, what did he say then? No, he didn't. He came over and he said, oh, that's a really good game. And you were like, yeah, I've heard about it. Nah, nah, nah. And he goes, yeah, I'm I'm running a, a game sometime in the summer about it. And you go, <laughs> James just butts in and goes, oh, here. Well, look, put your name on my Facebook there and then I'll, I'll join. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. No, and I, he didn't I, even say that he wanted players. And you were like, oh, here, put your name in there and I'll join. And the wee fellow went quiet. And he goes, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah. And he was so awkward, and James is like, "Yeah, well, look, I'm just letting you know that I'm a bit of a dick, and like I, the way I play, mightn't be for everyone." And then I chimed in, as like, "Yeah, he's professional shit poster to say the least." And he goes, uh, "James just kept keeps going. I'm a really horrible player. I'm just gonna let you know." And the guy was like, "Uh huh, uh huh." And he goes, "Look, I got some." Oh, he goes, "My name's blah blah blah," and he goes, "What's your guy's name?" So I was like, oh, Fuck, here we go. James goes, oh, I'm James. And then the fella looks at me. I'm Megan. Oh, and what about the little one? That's Aussie. I was waiting, but he looked and he didn't say anything. I was like, thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, so I... James went... Adam was a friend and he, <laughs> he, he hasn't really... He hasn't, he hasn't accepted me. <laughs> <laughs> Megan thinks this is really funny, by the way. <laughs> oh, do you want to hear another one before? Do you want to hear any Oh, do you want to hear? Story? Okay, so I'm playing a lot of work, work right? Oh, um, can you guess? <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Actually, it's the most fun. I, honestly, guys, try the system out. It's so much fun. It's honestly. Bring it to the story. Look, anyway, anyway, so um, I've been playing online with the boys, and I've been really enjoying it, and I've been DMing it, and I've been really enjoying it. So I thought, you know what? I wouldn't say no to maybe trying to DM in I, in person because I haven't DM'd in person in literally years so i thought you know what let's give it a go so i go ahead and i put an advert up on one of the game stores discords and no no one's little bag like nothing at all in the channel and then i went ahead and i posted it into another game store and the people just kept talking and they just, just I, ignored him i, 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 I just, just got, got i just got i just got ignored so i did and then uh, I put it into another one, and one guy actually did write back to us, and he was asking about it, but it, it, the conversation end, ended with a thumbs up. <laughs> and then he oh, put I, it oh, on the uh, I, Facebook I put it on the Facebook group page on... of one of the game stores, <laughs> and the fella, the fella he owns the game store, <laughs> the only like on the post is the fella who runs the game store's mum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why it's so funny. I just, I just want to. I just. Nobody wants to play with you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see how it's so funny. Look, guys. Uh, so I suppose let's jump in. It's this. like school all over again. Nobody wants to play with James on the playground. 
Hun <laughs> <laughs> won't be friends with me. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's just start this thing out already. Each NPC in your group, even non-combatants who aren't on the battle map, get an equal cut of the XP for the entire session. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no don't, don't be silly. <laughs> Half XP for a peaceful solution isn't that bad. Be thankful I'm giving you anything at all. No. no. Don't be don't be ridiculous. Alright. All the mages act on the same turn, and they're all going to cast Cone of Cold on you. So, wait, he decides? Uh, Alright, let's see. It doesn't matter that before your ship travelled 100 hexes per day, now it only travels 2 hexes per day. Make a perception check. Now an arcana check. Now an investigation check. Oh, you failed the last one. You learned nothing. (laughs) For God's sake. This monster resets every day. If you kill it again, you're not getting XP from it. What what, what is this? Well, why does it reset? Yeah, Yeah, that's good, Eklis. I... You know, the problem is, it's people being awkward or congruent or just pedantic for the yeah. sake of it a lot of the time. You know what it is, right? There's a lot of people that, I think there's a lot of people that play role-playing games that have very little control in their day-to-day lives. And because it's kind of, you know what this is? It's kind of like people that strive to become politicians should never, ever be allowed to be a politician because yeah. that's not a characteristic you <clears> want <throat> in, a, yeah. in a politician. Does that make any weird uh-huh. sense? I get it. Like the people that... Aim, the people that it's like the people that ask can I be moderator on a discord no are the worst people in the world you should ever have as moderators <laughs> does that make sense yeah. am I am I no I get it and that's exactly the same way I feel like for a lot of DMs there's a lot of DMs that don't actually care about storyline they don't care about um, what they're doing and they don't want to make a fun game they like or they the don't want to explore it. their setting that they're, they're working on they just don't really care that much about that stuff what they do care about is power trips power trips and that's that's what I yep. see here would that be a fair yep. assumption? I've had a GM throw a tantrum and lash out at me for something I didn't do. I got invited to a game by someone I sort of knew as a last minute replacement. I didn't know anyone in the group except this guy. And the GM was sort of a sped, but the game was alright. Except his friends were really fucking awful players. Always inattentive. Checking their phones or laptops. Taking five minutes per turn to double check how to hit a goblin with a sword, etc. Yay! <laughs> no, it is not! Yay! No, it's not! <laughs> it's fucking not! Uh, you can't Nobody me wants to play with you! Shut up! Okay. <laughs> it was clearly bothering the sped, but he didn't say anything about it. But one time, during my turn, I cast a spell I was regularly using before and he stops the game dead in its tracks to say it didn't work that way and to accuse me of cheating. We argued about it for a full-blown hour until he finally read the text for it, upon which he said, You should have explained this from the start! (laughs) Which I did! (laughs) I wanted to fucking strangle him. In retrospect, he probably lashed out at me because he couldn't lash out at his friends and I was his outlet. I'm not reading anymore. Uh, yeah okay uh anyway anyway um i think what you definitely put on this is you know I, I i was watching i can't remember who did the video i was watching a video and some guy and the guy that was the guy's video was that was a really weird way of saying it uh anyway anyway so he was talking about how you probably shouldn't play role playing games with your friends yeah because then you can't well, no, but he brought up a really interesting point. So he thought, the way he explained it was, okay, if you want to play role-playing games, you're mostly there to play the game. Yeah. Not to socialise, whereas if you're playing with your actual, like... You'll sit and talk shit. Yeah, exactly, and you get to the load very easily. Mm-hmm. It's almost like you want to have the objective of, like, we're, we're all going to go, and we're all going to mm-hmm. go and play the game, mm-hmm. and that's what we're going to do tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're not going to interrupt, we're not going to go off on whatever you know what I mean does yeah. that make weird, weird sense and it kind of does and I suppose at the same time um, you know you can see that with this one like you know the guy isn't able to but then again I can really meet with someone if you can't be, turn around you meet and be like, like mate fuck up yeah <laughs> you, know I mean? you just shut up for five seconds I, th- I suppose this is why I'm, I'm kind of like this is back. why nobody wants to play with you <laughs> yeah <laughs> but like all I'm saying is like I, w- I would say to most of me I'd say to any of my mates I'd be like man come on any any chance here? Yeah, like you know, and I, I I would feel comfortable, but then again, I'm kind of past that point of hanging about with people that I really don't actually like all that much. That's why nobody wants to play <laughs> with me. <laughs> I don't see what's funny, Megan. I think it's absolutely hilarious. 
All right, let's keep moving. Psst. Hey, lean in closer. This is fucking ASMR channel now. You know what's pretty fucking beast? Titties. <laughs> Go see titties. <laughs> Lots of titties. All the titties. <laughs> Go over to the website, check out all the models. You guys know the score. We have some really nice looking models over there. And we have a lot of... Uh, sci-fi gothic? Yeah. Let's call them sci-fi gothic. And if models isn't your shit, we have loads of subclasses and we keep adding them every other week or so we we, we look, add we, a lot we, we, we got a lot do you, do you look guys... we've got big brains we add shit <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yes go over to the website check out everything if you haven't subscribed what the fuck you doing hit subscribe hit the notification bell as well and let's get back to the video every week we're going to be doing a giveaway of the new pinup model of the month or if models isn't your thing all of our homebrew content if you want to be in with a chance to win the giveaway all you need to do is subscribe that's it Hit the subscribe button. That's Do it. it. <laughs> Do it now. But last week's winner was this guy. Well Yay. done. Yay. Yay. Round of applause. Yeah. Everybody stands up and claps. But enough of that. Let's get back to the video. Hey, we got together and decided we really didn't like how you played your character and how you made everyone <laughs> uncomfortable. So we've all decided we don't want you to come to future gaming sessions. We wait your apology and see how you and our friendship will learn and develop from this. We get, 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 get fuck away off. <laughs> this was after my character decided to first non join the melee after one PC whom my character had trained sent the child my PC was caring for literally to hell, who was also the younger brother of the PC that was murdered, PC's love interest. Whoa. While well, one clone PC tried to immediately murder another clone PC, despite the character having a known behavioural aversion to murder for no actual reason. And then second, for my PC chewing murder PC out for getting possessed at all. Sibling PC for being a shit sister, and clone PC for just randomly deciding to murder each other. Okay, I'm gonna put it out there, that was word sip. I actually did not, I, 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 I could, like, maybe, maybe I got small brain, maybe I got small, <laughs> smooth brain, but I did not understand what happened in that. <laughs> I did not understand the explanation. There's a lot of PCs! There's like the PC there, the PC, the PC, <laughs> PC, PC. I'm sorry, I, 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 maybe, maybe. I was reading it, but I couldn't tell you what I read. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm just a retard, guys, um, which I'm not gonna argue with you, I kinda <laughs> am. But, uh, yeah, um, again, this is why no one wants to play with me next boost, guys. Will we just keep going? <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. Session zero. GM. Make whatever you want. It's up to me to make it work. Me. Here's some ideas I had for characters I'd enjoy. The most egregious being flight speed at third level. GM bans 90% of my ideas and four whole books. <laughs> <laughs> GM... I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, I have met people like this. Yeah. I've met people with some insane builds out there. GM, combat is going to be lethal, so be prepared. Also, it's going to be an intrigue game. Me, here's my character. GM, here's a list of arbitrary complaints and snide remarks about how it doesn't suit my tastes. First encounter, party wipe fighting 30 goblins, saved by NPC. GM, after some roleplay. There's so many red herrings you guys just kept falling for. Second encounter. PC steamroll bandits. GM, just to let you know, if you keep choosing violence, you're going to die. <sighs> right, okay, sure, whatever. GM, after some more roleplay. It's impossible to follow what you guys are doing. You're all over the place. After yet another combat encounter. An NPC kills another NPC again. I hate NPCs killing NPCs. Why did you guys make these characters? Level 2 encounter. Six five-hour sessions in the game. Had session zero to set ground rules and expectations. Me. I rolled a 26 for disguise. Used a spell. GM. Yeah, I'm going to need you to roll for disguise twice. Once for passing by people and again for interacting with people. It's part of the performance. Me. That's not how disguise works. That's what bluff is for. GM, it's part of the performance. Oh my god. I left the game after that. Between the Grognard lectures and how he understood the game, how Pathfinder was basically riffed. <laughs> 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 Why have I heard that? I mean, I've never really interacted with that before. Why does it. Why did. 
they eat fuck all of these things. <laughs> <laughs> have, any, have any of you guys actually ever encountered that? <laughs> is that is that something that everyone comes across and God are going on for fucking hours? Like, I mean, like, easily half an hour, whatever. The conversation wasn't even going that way. He just suddenly turns out and say, you know, uh, Pathfinder is essentially this, right? <laughs> let, me, let me just explain to you exactly why that is. I've no idea. I've never played this. I don't even know anything about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> His story about having spoken to Mike, Mer- Mike Mercer. Merles. Merles. <laughs> Mike Pers- Merles. <laughs> Personally, about how Critical Role is calculated and his completely inconsistent GMing. I had enough. You know, is is this the equivalent of my dad works at Nintendo? <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, by the way, I actually, uh, I actually met Matt Mercer. Uh, Cool guy, just you know. Um, yeah, me and him, we went out. Uh, we went. We had a good good night drinking. Uh, we uh, we went. We uh, told him his GM was shit. Yeah, but like you know, it was cool because I showed. I you know I showed him a few, a few of my own techniques. And he took them on. And then in the next episode, he was using my technique. Yeah, exactly. You know where that idea came from? That was from me. You know, you know, you know exactly the type of guy you've met. This person, you know this person. Don't even try. It. Um, again, I think this guy just needs to learn how to target angle and realize what it is that he actually wants to do. You know what I mean? Um, work out what it is that you actually want to play, mm-hmm. and then you'll probably have a much easier time. It's one thing, like, you know, saying to people, it's like, right, this is what I've got in mind, this is what I really want to do. Um, but then they just don't do it. It's kind of different, but I don't know. I don't know. The, one of the best ones I ever heard was GM should have reels, they should have train tracks, but they should be invisible. If you, if say you plan a session, and the session's going to be, we're going to go fight a troll today, but the, the players have the option of going left or right. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter because they're going to the troll anyway. Yeah. Does that make any it weird sense? Matter. It's like it, the, the illusion of choice. Mm-hmm. You know, if you've spent all week preparing for something, I'm sure you could get creative enough mm-hmm. to reel them in the right direction. Let's be serious. You know? So, yeah, if any of you guys like live in Northern Ireland and are relatively close by, um, I'm, I'm going to be DMing a couple of games of Mork Bork. If you're interested. Nobody wants to play with you. Look, I don't, you know, the thing is, right? So, the guys that I play with online, we can only really play once a week, and I really want to play more than that. And even then, once a week's pushing it a lot of the time. And mm-hmm. um, we're not going to be playing next week because of Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. For America. Americans. Yeah. I, see, when they said that, I was like, fuck. It's like, wait, we, we did that like two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thank God. I was like, shit, not again. I was like, already. Uh, but no, I already, got, I already did our one. So if you're American and you're watching this, remember it's Mother's Day next Sunday. Um, but yeah, if you <laughs> guys. Uh, yeah, if any of you guys are like, you know, looking, um, I am going to be running a few games in Mortboard. Or. If you want to get your mother something special, bring her along to an online game team <laughs> strong. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna because I don't want to. Like I, what I want to do is, so I've, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to find new landmarks online. Like there's a lot of crazy. Like everyone, all you guys are watching. You're all lovely people and all that, but I don't know if you're actually insane or not. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just gonna be sweet. Surely you can see the say the same about you. Yeah, you know? that's very true. But like, I sorry, it's it's one of those ones. It's hard to find people to play with online that you mesh well with. And I'm only looking to run a couple one shots just for a bit of fun. Like mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not gonna be doing anything serious. I'm not gonna be doing anything I like, find. It's literally just one shot games. Um, for people to like play out different classes, play out like you know lose a different adventure stuff like that I, I like I'm, I'm looking forward to it if I can if I can find any yeah. <laughs> um have you guys I, well back to the back to the thread at hand I don't think I've ever actually had a DM be genuinely nasty to us. the only one I can think of was one time and to be fair he was winding me up a wee bit so I started winding him up yeah and, and then I kind of you know what I mean so like I'm not I'm not gonna be like I'm not completely blameless here but at the same time, it's like, like you meet me, who I am, okay? <laughs> I remember you came home from that session, you were like, look, the DM was asking for it. Yeah. And like, I just give him what he asked for. Essentially, yes. But yeah, have you guys ever, like, gone into a DM where it's like, why, why are you, why are you being like this? What, what was the need? What was the point? Um, again, like, you know, this always falls back on, we're playing a hyper-social game, and, but the people that are attracted to role playing games tend to be not very social. not very social or poorly socialized or you know I my, myself included you know that's why I feel so comfortable in being able to say it a lot of the time because 
It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. <laughs> um, well, of course I know. <laughs> he's me. me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, uh, you know, I suppose with a lot of this, it's, it's more about, like, that respect and, like, you know, looking into yourself and being like, am I that bad? It's like, yeah, I kind of am. And, you know, that's the thing. That's why I said to the guy, it's like, I'm a... I, I don't know. No, like, but you said it about 14 times. Well, like, you know, it's within like... Within the space of, like, a two-minute conversation. Well, like... Like, I'm a really bad player. Like, I'm, my, like I'm my play kinda, style... <laughs> like, I'm, I'm kind of bad, not going to lie, okay? That's what, like, like, honestly, I'm a really horrible player. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm horrible, but I'm fun, okay? Would that be... You know the worst thing is, Megan, you put it the right way, and we were talking about that as well. Like, you know, the people that we that we play with, we all egg each other on. Absolutely. Oh. So, like, the second when one... When was bu- this? When Yesterday? Yeah. I was getting ready, and because th- th- things are happening in our bottom room at the minute, so my, like, vanity table is right outside the computer room. Yeah. And I was sitting down, I was doing my makeup, and he was playing this game. With with everyone on Discord, and the whole lot of them just egg. All I heard was ass. You get sucked in. Oh yeah, homoerotic. That <laughs> homoerotic. That's all I can. And I was like, look, the whole lot of is are just as bad as each other. And then Teal goes, "There's no need to be jealous. You can just play." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man, you need to play with us more often. I have a child to look for. I know, but he's getting old, guys. So yeah, what are we gonna do? Put him in the middle? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. But you know what I mean. The problem is, Megan's not really able to play because whenever he's getting looked after, we sit down, we record videos, or we get other stuff done up to speed. Yeah. You know what I mean. So the only time you would really be able to is like whenever he goes to bed, and even then. But I'm, I'm fucking tired whenever yeah, that child goes to bed. Exactly. So you know, it's one of those ones. He's crawling now. He's all over the place. Yeah. But we'll get there. Anyway, like enough of that. Um, how have you guys been getting along? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Look at you send the video. Check out the Check out the stuff. links, models, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>